In our first episode of 5 minutes astronomy, we will answer the question why are some elements present more than others? Your daily experience with the world may perhaps make you think that the most common substance in the universe is iron or copper or oxygen or maybe silicon. But on the contrary, the two most common elements in the universe are hydrogen and helium. Let's understand why. Our universe is about 13.8 billion years old. It was born in an event popularly called the Big Bang and more correctly inflation. Space itself expanded faster than light in the first few moments. Everything was super dense and too hot to exist as stable atoms we now know. Slowly, after 2 minutes or so, temperatures lowered as space kept expanding and the protons and neutrons formed could fuse together to form the simplest nuclei. The most common was deuterium, an isotope of hydrogen with a proton and a neutron. Other nuclei like that of helium and lithium were formed too. Any other elements formed like carbon or oxygen were in virtually negligible quantities. In one lakh years, the temperatures lowered further to allow the formation of stable atoms as electrons attached with the nuclei. The simplest atom is the hydrogen atom with one electron, followed by helium that has two electrons. During this, molecules like helium hydride formed too, which was discovered in 2019 in the universe. Higher elements did not form because the period with temperature hot enough for nuclear fusion to occur but low enough for the nuclei form to be stable was very short. After a few hundred million years, the first stars started forming. These are called population 3 stars. These stars were completely devoid of metal and only contained hydrogen and helium, the simplest elements. In astronomy, anything heavier than helium is termed as metal. As the first stars fused hydrogen in their cores to helium and helium thereon to heavier elements, the formation of elements higher than helium began, producing little by little some carbon, oxygen, iron, etc. As these population 3 stars died, their remains spread out in the universe, spreading these metals everywhere. The second generation of stars that formed from these contained very little metal in them. These so-called population 2 stars are metal-poor stars and contain tens to thousand times less metal than our sun. The star HD140283 or Methuselah is a population 2 star in Libra. The dead remains of population 2 stars with the remaining hydrogen and helium gave birth to the third generation of stars to which our sun and mostly every other star you see in the night sky belongs to. Population 1 stars or metal rich stars. These stars have more metallicity than any previous stars known. The amount of hydrogen and helium created after the Big Bang was so enormous that even today every star has 95-99% to of these two elements when they form. Formation of stars can only happen in hydrogen-rich nebulae as hydrogen is the easiest element to fuse and leads to the fusion of higher elements. As of current estimates, the hydrogen in the universe will support the star formation up to 100 trillion years from now. Wow! So the question remains. Why do you see more elements like iron and silicon around you? Because when stars like the sun form, almost 99% of the gas goes into the star and remaining 1% forms the planets. All the lighter elements like hydrogen and helium were pushed away from the sun by the sun's wind and formed the gaseous planets or the icy planets. Heavier stuff like rocks, dust, iron, gold and other metals remained closer to the sun and combined to form rocky planets like earth. In fact, we now know this to be true through our missions that have studied the planets in the solar system. So, to sum up, the most common elements in the universe are hydrogen and helium because they were created in large amounts and were the simplest to form. On Earth, though, we mostly see metals because most of the hydrogen and helium was pushed away to form gaseous planets or combined to form compounds. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, share and comment and support the Astro Geek comics. Stay curious and keep looking up.